go. Welcome to another live coaching video. My name is Jody Bunting and this is Meet Sharon, one of our slimmers who's going to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Hi, Sharon. Hello. Hi there. So you're just fresh. You've just finished work, have you? I have, yeah. Yes, I have. I've had a long day today. Right. So what are you having for your tea, first of all, then, after your long day at work? <laughs> So I've put I've put my order in. It should be fish, broccoli, carrots, and a small amount of mashed potato. Oh wow! I'm, I'm well impressed with that. That yeah. sounds great to me. So I'm hoping it'll be served up to me when I, I get back. <laughs> hopefully. So your lovely friend is doing our course. I spoke with her yesterday. Yeah, that's Julie. Her... Long time friend. Did you see Julie's video or not? No, I didn't know. Okay. So yeah, we recorded with Julie yesterday, so that was nice. Um and you are a member at McLeaver Court, aren't you? So you're one of my Apple That's babes. Right. Yeah, so yeah. to be honest, I'll I'll say what I said to Julie. I'm not used to okay. seeing you with your clothes on, am I? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> I'm used to seeing oh. you and your bather in the swimming pool. Yeah, jumping this is around. It, yeah. But her, yeah, definitely jumping around. Oh, yeah. Great. I know. Are you there tomorrow? Yes, I'll be there yeah. tomorrow morning. Yeah. Ready to go. Me too. I'm going to try and walk there. Oh, what are yeah. you? So you live nearby? I live at Finden, but I thought I would walk. Ooh. Yeah. Why Have not? You there before? No. <laughs> okay. You better start after eight, just in case. No, that's <laughs> you can have a thinking. few breaks. Did, yeah, if I did your workout first at eight and then get cracking. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. Right. So let's talk uh, weight loss. So just tell me your weight history. Have you been to like Weight Watchers, Slimming World? Have you tried loads of yeah. diets before? Um. Yeah, oh, ages ago I did Slimming World and it was really good, really successful. Um, I lost two and a half stone, but we were having an extension at the same time. So I don't know if it was the stress of the extension or the, yeah, call it the extension diet. But yeah, that was really good. But then since I've been back and they do the extra easy, they did red days, green days before. I didn't quite get it really when I went back. I wasn't yeah. as into it. So I need to, it's more exercise really and watching what I eat now um because obviously I, I work quite a few jobs so um you know I've got to try and be organized that's the thing the key I think and what's your biggest challenge with weight loss or foods and things activity um just pre-planning I think and doing too much work and not fitting my classes in so I've realized over Easter that's what I've got to focus on now no matter what shift they ask me to do it's like put this first rather than saying oh yes I'll do that and then not finding the time to exercise so yeah, yeah so your work life balance yeah exactly it's so important yeah. and again just prioritizing your your own health is perfect That's it. um and are you a sweet are you savory what are your favorite sorts of food oh, savory all the every time yeah yeah I haven't really got a sweet tooth but savory things definitely so you into cheeses yeah, or pastry or oh, like samosas or um, yeah sausage rolls <laughs> yeah scotch eggs that sort of thing oh, yeah lovely. knock all that on the head well yeah. it's funny you should say that because the good thing about this course is it's all about nutrients um and for somebody who likes savory things you're going to love all the news that i'm going to give you and that is about oh, eating lots of protein so yeah obviously for instance a scotch egg has got the breadcrumbs around the outside apart from the outside bit the inside is perfect it's got eggs in which has got protein yeah. in. it's got the meat in which again has got more protein so that's going to keep you nice and full um so straight away i've got a lovely um turkey scotch egg recipe for you where oh, you put them in around the egg and they have it like that so that would oh, be yeah. something that you would really like and probably not even realize you're having healthy foods as well so that's mm, a good one yeah. to start with that sounds great yeah the biggest enemy is bread pasta are you not really into bread and pasta 
I've tried since Christmas, I've really tried to cut it down. I just bread, you know, like diabetes and stuff, all these carbs. Yeah. I've become really conscious of um, things like that and pasta rather than piling it up. I'll just, if my husband does me a massive portion, I'll just cut it in half, chuck half in a Tupperware tub, have that the next day because yeah. I just don't need all that. I just don't need all them carbs, do I? Absolutely. So, and this is where it's good to either cut them down or swap them for potatoes or rice. Because mm. potatoes and rice are more natural, there's less processing, therefore there's less sugar, sugar absorption into your body. So this is why that's a like a smart swap. But also just trying to eat less generally of carbs and just trying to fill your plate with proteins, vegetables, salad is definitely the way yeah. forward to make you feel nice. Yeah, that sounds good, Jeff. Brilliant. And are you a snacky person or do you generally stick to meals? Um, I probably was, but I've been more conscious of it since Christmas. You know, the fact that I need to just be, eat my meals more regularly. I work late at night, so I'm trying to take my tea with me rather than eating it at 11 o'clock when I walk through the door. That is, that has been terrible, really. I shouldn't be doing it, but that's yeah. what I have been doing. So it's time to knock that on the head. Just be more organised. And make Surely sure because I get a good meal. eating late affects your sleep and when you don't sleep properly then you don't eat next the next day properly so it's all just one big cycle so it sounds like you've got a plan in your mind which we yeah. are going to agree on which is great That's a, well now, i've been covering this job on maternity they've been on maternity so i've been covering their job and they're back next week so i'm like hold giving them back the reins and then i can get back on track with everything i'll have more time so it's a good that, time now that's great news isn't it that is good mm -hmm. so did you manage to download our app where you can track the foods I have. I've just got to sit down with a teenager to show me how to track the foods, which will be this <laughs> evening. <laughs> That'll be this evening's job because I right. didn't have time last night. I worked late again last night and then it was too late to do it. But yes, right. from tonight but, onwards. So if you can have a little play around with that then tonight and get tracking your foods. And to mm -hmm. be honest, that's all I want you to do on week number one is just to track all your foods. And then next week we'll go through your food diary and I'll just steer you into the right direction that we want you going in. Uh, the main thing is just to make sure you have protein with every single meal, uh, which is your yeah. meat, fish, nuts, you know, the nutritious stuff. And then also mm -hmm. add the fresh fruit and vegetables or salad to your meals as well so those are the only two guidelines you've got and obviously just to track everything do you have a fitbit or any sort of step counter no i've not got one of those maybe i'll have to invest in one does your phone yeah. count steps do you know <laughs> does my phone count steps it doesn't I think, think so i've joined that fitness pal thing though on my phone yeah that you Is down there you can download the Fitbit app, which will track your steps on your phone as well. It just depends whether you keep your phone on you all day. Mm. Are you able to do that yeah. at work and stuff or not? Oh, no, and when I'm at work, we have to be bare below the elbows as well. Yeah. That's the only trouble. So it's not going to track all of them. But if yeah. it tracks some of them, if I get a Fitbit and it tracks some of them, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Some of my f ladies as well put their Fitbit on their ankle as well. Oh, yeah. That's, That's the only idea. thing you can do. And then you've got all your steps in for the day. So maybe getting some sort of tracking device will be good because then it will be nice yeah. to see your activity and how it's increasing. Mm, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I'll do Great. that. Right. Have you got any questions? No, I'm just raring to go. I'm going to get myself organised tonight and hopefully, you know, it's all going to go well. Get to my aquatone classes because I've been covering <laughs> other people's shifts. So I'm going to get back onto that and it'll all, hopefully it'll be good. Thank you. Right. So yeah. you're coming in the morning then? I am definitely. I've really missed it. Fabulous. So definitely I'll be there. Right. Yeah. I will see you in the morning unless you've got any other questions. No, that's fine. Thank you. I've got plenty to get on with. Fine. Yeah. So thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Right. I'll see you tomorrow, okay. Sharon. Yeah. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye.